So far with this dolphin, what we can say is that there are no signs that it, this one has been caught in a fishing net. We look for wounds that they can get when they get tangled up in fishing line or fishing net, and this particular dolphin doesn't have any of those changes. What I'm looking for, if they've been caught in a fishing net, they'll often have marks around their face or the leading edges, the front parts of their flippers or their dorsal fin, or around here they can get tangled as well. But there's no, no injuries that would fit with that. It's got some old injuries that have healed well along the back, but nothing fresh. To look at whether they're thin or in good condition, the, when they're very thin they have, we call it peanut neck. So this one has a little bit of a concave bit here, so a wee bit of a neck, but not not terrible condition, still some, maybe not perfect, but not super skinny. Well, that's the point of doing the post-mortem. So we um, do post-mortems on all stranded hectares of Maui dolphins that are found around the coastline um, to try and find out what they've died of. Well, there's a couple of common causes of death that we've found um, in these dolphins. Over recent years, there's been a number of them that have died of uh, infections, some bacterial infections, some have died of toxoplasmosis, which is a disease that starts in cats. Uh, sometimes they have fungal infections as well. Um, and then also some die in fishing nets. They accidentally get entangled in fishing nets, so that's one thing we find as well. There's lots of different steps to it. The first part is what we'll be doing this afternoon, and that's uh, like a postmortem in a person where we open them up and look at all of their organs and we collect samples. Um, so the next phase is when the samples are processed and that can take a couple of weeks before we find out a little bit more about what was going on with the dolphin. We have had 12 dolphins that are found dead this year. That's not all that unusual. It does vary a lot from year to year. Some years we just have one or two uh, and other years 12, 13. So it's quite variable. Depends really um, a little bit on how many wash up and a little bit I think on how many people are out on the beaches and notice the dolphins.